Genuinely? Shit like that? A V12 Gintani Aventador? This is why I love cars right here. That noise. Good morning everybody from St. Petersburg, Florida. I apologize for my voice. I've been under the weather for a couple of days. So, roast me in the comments section down below. Speaking of roasting me in the comments, please excuse my beard where I ate a very flaky croissant right before the show and I didn't realize it was stuck in my beard. So if you guys don't like that, then please dislike and unsubscribe because we're only two minutes into the video. If not, then enjoy the rest of this very long video. But today is one of the largest car events in Tampa and it hopefully should be good because this was an admission fee. Uh, you had to buy tickets for this event. Anytime I have to buy tickets for a car event, that's when I have even higher expectations than usual. But after looking at pictures of the previous years of this place, it seems like that there's going to be some pretty cool stuff this year. And it is in a great location. This is the St. Petersburg Pier right here. We're in a parking lot, so you can't quite see. And here's another area. It is beautiful, and it is the coldest day of the year in Tampa. This morning, it was 35 degrees Fahrenheit, which for Florida is very, very cold. Um, right now it's about like 45-ish, something like that. Uh, which I actually kind of like because a lot of these Florida car shows I go to, it's just so hot to where like, it's not enjoyable to constantly be looking at the cars versus here uh, because I don't get cold very easily. Uh, it's a lot easier to enjoy all the cars and I mean, it is really a beautiful looking day. There's some clouds in the sky, but sun is out. And I can't wait to get inside and see what's up. So this is my first time ever seeing a Tesla Cybertruck and it's not even in the stainless steel, uh, the, the launch color. What a weird looking car. It, it doesn't look like a road vehicle. It just looks like, it's just crazy looking. I've never seen anything like this in my life. I don't think it's ugly, but it's interesting, that's for sure. It looks like something out of a cyberpunk movie. This is the largest windshield wiper ever fit to a production car, and like, this thing is gigantic. It's huge. People were saying that this truck is bigger than it looks, but actually, it's a little smaller than I, I thought it was going to be. Maybe I thought it was going to be a little bit higher, but it is a big car, especially if you're uh, watching this in Europe where cars are a lot smaller, but in America, this is like smaller than an F-150. Okay, so we're finally here. I'm a little out of breath only because I've just been doing so much B-roll filming around the entire show and checking out the show. But now I'm actually gonna show you guys around the show. It's a good turnout. However, because I paid, I'm like overwhelmed and underwhelmed, if that makes sense. The amount of classics that are here are really cool. But last year, or like when I looked at pictures of this event the other year, there was a Ferrari FXX and a Chiron. And I feel like I kind of want to see those as well, but that's just me being uh, very privileged of having just seen so many exotics over the years. We're gonna start over here first. Uh, we got a GT4, Cayman 911 991.1, 911 GT3, or is that, what does that say, GT2 RX? Don't know, must be uh, like a, either special edition or it's been done by a aftermarket manufacturer, but regardless, it looks absolutely gorgeous. And it's a great location. You got the water right here. Yeah, this is sick. What this has is it has the Bucket seats from the 991 GT3 and not the ones from the 918. I don't usually see that. Uh, we got a 911 Targa BMW M3. This is not a comp, which means I could be wrong. I think it's a manual. Yep, I was correct. We got a Hellcat wide body. Uh, got a Stelvio. Corvette C8. This is the best spec GT3 RS 992 I have ever seen. This is from the Motor Enclave stand, the new racetrack that opened up in Tampa. I didn't know about the 
Cars and Coffee there last weekend when Shmi went. And so I was very disappointed when I found out about it and it was too late for me to go. Uh, but beautiful GT3 RS. Uh, but we got something even cooler, an A12 Competizione. I'm gonna go to the front here so you can see the gorgeous shark blue, the carbon fiber. This is a beautiful color on this A12 Competizione. Really, really, really cool car. Would you guys take this or a TDF? I'd probably take a TDF. Okay, so there's a lot of people. This is where I was with the A12. Got a Maserati, I believe this is a coupe. You'll ever see these things. This thing is stanced out, probably on air suspension. Interior's in pretty good shape and I like the color. Um, got a Testarossa or a 512TR, I'm not sure. Oh, uh, that looks a little busy. Let's go over here. Got an original Gallardo. These are really, really cool. You don't see them that much anymore. Oh, and it's a gated manual. Okay, that's really cool. And we got a Huracan LP610-4. Gorgeous SVJ Urus. I think that's a Performante. I'm not sure. I'll go over there in a sec. LP580-2 Spider, which is... The dash two means it's rear wheel drive. Dash four means it's all wheel drive. Then we got an STO here. Gorgeous GTC4 Lusso. And it is not the T, so it is a beautiful, naturally aspirated V12. And it sounds incredible. <laughs> Wow, that SVJ, that sounded insane. I ended up having a really long conversation, so I kind of completely forgot I needed to show all the other cars. But we have a bunch of cars from Lamborghini Sarasota. This looks like it's a Urus Performante, Urus, Urus Performante, I believe. Aventador S, I absolutely love this thing. The color is gorgeous. Ferrari Roma, Levante, STO. Oh, let's go over here. Another STO. Uh, there's the LP580-2 I showed earlier. Let's go over here. We have a, another Huracan LP580-2 Spider. 991 GT3 Huracan. There's the Lusa we saw earlier. This is an Avora S. This is really cool, and I like the color on it quite a bit, actually. Lizard Green. GT3 RS, 992 GT3, 992, I have no idea if this is a GTS or a Carrera S, but it looks nice, I like the wheels on it, um, this looks like either, I'm not good with older Porsches, uh, very much, but, they look pretty cool, oh man, look at that, new, uh, more modern Porsches, you can't even open up the engine cover, which kind of sucks, I like this color on this one. Uh, GT3 Touring, Turbo S, Macan, Cayenne, GT3, GT2 RS, this thing's an animal. Uh, 993, I'll get to that in a little bit. I wanna go over here now. Oh man, look at this turbo, this is gorgeous. Wow, look at the wide body on that. Woo! This thing's mint. Look at the front. Oh, this is sick. I feel like this is like some aftermarket manufacturer I don't know about or some variant I don't know about very well. But they look great. But let's get into this. This is one of my favorite cars. This was my childhood poster car. A Lamborghini Murcielago. And it's a manual. Probably one of the coolest cars on the planet. The, the design is aged so well. And these things go up and down. People call these like the bat wings. They look incredible. Naturally aspirated V12. This thing is just, oh, I like the license plate. That's really cool. Let's go over here. I mean, look at these mirrors. The, this thing is just gorgeous. Love the Mercia Lago. And then we got a Huracan LP610-4. I got an Aventador S. Look at that Kutosh over there. The gold wheels. Got another STO over here. We got a Ferrari FF, which I didn't even know they had here. We got an old Ford GT, and then we got a new Ford GT. 
Okay, so now I'm going to be doing this segment of the video in voiceover because when I tried uploading this video for the first time, it got flagged for copyright because of the music that was playing. So here's me talking about the new Ford GT. This particular one is in the Heritage livery, and this is me explaining that the design of this car has aged incredibly well. It is still very futuristic, and the particular vents on the side, specifically on the rear, I mean, that just looks absolutely gorgeous. And I love the Acropovic exhaust, which was, I believe, the sport exhaust option. And just look at these buttresses here. I mean, and even also what I'm explaining was the lights, how they have holes in them for uh, airflow. And then over here, we have this beautiful Porsche. I believe it's a 930, but do not uh, quote me on that. And this is me just going over all the different Porsches, 928s. Moving on from that, we now have a Z8. I cut out the portion where I was just filming myself since, well, you don't really want to hear me explaining that. I was just explaining that I don't feel great and my voice sounds like shit, just like it does in this voiceover. So this is a BMW Z8. It had Alpina wheels, but it is not an Alpina Z8. It is an Alpina Z8 if it has an automatic gearbox, but the regular Z8 had a manual. Funny thing though is the Alpina, which was supposed to be the faster one, was actually slower and more expensive. So, very logical decision why no one bought the Alpina version. Then here's me talking about how the spec on this 4 Series is actually very nice, whilst me still absolutely ranting about how hideous the front end design is on that car, and just how BMW, in my opinion's design has just gone downhill. Then over here is me pointing out the Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT. This actually was the fastest SUV around the Nürburgring, a beautiful Taycan GTS Sport Turismo, a 911 991.2 with blue wheels, interesting color choice there, GT3, Turbo, and I have no idea what one this is. This is some old 911 in a really nice color with a stripped out interior. Please roast me in the comments since I have no idea which one this is. It looks like a nice wide body, potentially a turbo, a 991 GT3, and a beautiful Aston Martin V8 Vantage Roadster. Thank you. Voodoo Blue, 992, or Shark Blue. I didn't even go back here. I haven't even been back here yet. Huracan G63, some really cool defenders it looks like, or I honestly don't know what these are. Oh, those are cool. Range Rover, this looks like a Range Rover stand. Ferrari 330, Roma, 458 Spider. If I would ever get like a first supercar, it would be this. Actually, in this exact spec, it's perfect. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love the 458. I'd take this over a 488 or an F8 any day. The natural aspirated V8 just sounds heavenly. Nice uh, facelift up type. Portofino, ooh, this 296 looks really nice. I'd take this over an SF90 any day of the week. It sounds better, it looks better, it's cheaper. There's another 296. Got a Roma 430 Scuderia. These are awesome. 488 Spider. Uh, another 296. 575. I think that's a 355 or a Mondial. Um, another 458 720S Boxer Spider. Um, this is another Huracan with some forged carbon uh, accessories, or not accessories, but forged carbon bits on it. Uh, Huracan Technica, Urus, um, oh my god, this Speedster is absolutely beautiful. Wow. Oh my god, the E type. Look at that. Enzo Ferrari himself said that the E-Type is the most beautiful car ever made. And if Enzo Ferrari saying that, that really says something. Oh my God. This is mint. I don't know if it's been restored or not, but it doesn't matter. It's gorgeous. This is sick. This is a cool color action this came in. Turbo S. Um, 
they also have a, a new Z06. The new Z06, I have a massive soft spot for this thing. It sounds incredible. Um, viewers of my uh, previous car video, no, not the previous one. Viewers of my supercar toy rally video might have seen that I got a ride in my friend's Z06. That thing sounded insane. The naturally aspirated flat plane crank V8. Sounds like a 458, genuinely. And then we got a Aventador S, McLaren GT. Um, and then, oh, here, let me show you the Kutosh actually, because this, there's like a whole nother section that I'll show you, but this is the first part. So here's the Kutosh. I mean, look at those wheels. It's cool to see one without a wing. This thing is mint. Not very often you see a black car in such good shape like that. Um, alrighty, let's head over there. All right, we got a 488, a regular Aventador. I've seen this thing a lot, actually. I think that it was at uh, Armature Works. Rolls Royce Wraith Black Badge. This has not aged today, this design. It is absolutely beautiful. Crazy to think that this came out 12 years ago. I just bumped into the golf cart. Better to bump into the golf cart than the Aventador, right? Um, CT4V uh, looks like a Hellcat, could be a red eye, I don't know. <laughs> um, we have a 750S, the new McLaren 750S. These things are pretty cool. And then we got an SF90 with the carbon wheel option. The, that really does transform how the car looks. We got a 991.2 GT3 Cali T. All right, I'm just gonna head out of here because the music is not really good for the video. But the one car that I do really think is kind of cool is this Ram because it is an SRT10. So Dodge decided to put the 8.3 liter V10 from the Dodge Viper in a pickup truck. And if you got the shorter one, it had a manual gearbox, a V10 pickup truck, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, Huracan uh, Evo, another SF90 with the, probably the ugliest wrap I've ever seen in my entire life. But well, we'll move on from that. A very green G63 with the monoblock wheels. I've been seeing a lot of these now. We got an Audi R8, the new Rolls Royce Spectre, Rolls Royce Cullinan. The Spectre is gigantic. It really is a big car. Look at the, look at the, the uh, I guess the charging cap. It's really big. Look at this thing. This is gorgeous. I really like this a lot. We have a Bentley Bentayga. This is the facelift. That sounds like a V10. Could be the Ram. Then we got a DBX. This looks like it's a DB11 or could be the DB12. Another 750S. A 600 LT, very MSO'd out with the Senna seats in it. Uh, the new Artura. Then we have a 600 LT with a roof scoop. Automatically, the cool points go up if a, if a McLaren has the roof scoop MSO option on it. It just transforms how the car sounds and looks. It looks sick. But look at this 720, oh no, sorry, 765 LT. It's brown with brown carbon fiber and a Tiffany blue interior. This is just absolutely insane. Really, really cool spec on that. We got another 765. That's not real roof scoop, by the way. I could be wrong. 12C, I haven't seen one in this color in a while. Still looks pretty good. An Artura. Um, I'm gonna head over here now. Now, I don't really know much about like very old Rolls Royces and Bentleys, but these look pretty cool. And, um, Bentley Continental. I wonder if the other cars are still here. Let me check over there. Actually, I lied. This is what I was trying to show. So we got an Aventador SV, a Kutosh, and personally, the highlight for me is this. This is a Spiker C8. You don't see these very often. Very unique, very quirky car. Um, I absolutely love this thing. 
one of my favorite things about this thing are the little details so like the, the, the gas cap and then look at this interior even little things like the latch for the seat to go forward and look at these pedals this is probably the closest thing you can get to a pagani without spending over a million dollars I mean, just look at the shifter, look at the aluminum, the dials, the air vents. The only thing that I don't like is the steering wheel. They originally had a steering wheel that was shaped like a propeller, but because of safety reasons, you know, not having an airbag and stuff, they uh, had to put in this, which is from the Lamborghini Gallardo. But there's this guy, I don't remember his name on Instagram, but he's doing a lot of really cool work making parts for Spiker, including that really cool propeller steering wheel. Absolutely love this thing. This thing has a twin turbo V8 from an Audi RS4 and it's got a roof scoop. Automatic cool points. Love this thing. Love the Spiker C8. Always a pleasure seeing one of these things. So moving on from the Spiker, got a bunch of old American classics that I don't know much about, <laughs> but it's cool to see them here. Mustang Mach 1. I actually haven't even been over here. This is cool. There's something about American classics. The designs back in the day, they were just so cool. Then we got an Escalade V over there. GT63, Lucid Air, Aventador. Looks like they might be having like something going on. Potentially rewards, oh, or awards rather. This is also one of my favorites, a Polestar 1. One of the most beautiful modern cars. It's just beautiful design. It's really showing off what Volvo can do with hybrid and electrification. Very expensive, supercharged, turbocharged, and hybrid four-cylinder. Very, very complicated car, but it is very beautiful. And next to that, we have an S-Class Maybach. This thing is just insane. The, the, the two... Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Uh, rudely interrupted by the plane. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The uh, Maybach S-Class. The cool two-tone colorway. This would look really cool in like Dubai. Um, and you got these really cool monoblock wheels. These things are so cool. They fit the car so well, in my opinion. Um, and it looks like they swapped out for Maybach badges. And then over here we have a Lucid Air. I really like the Lucid Air. I, I would take this over a Tesla any day of the week. So much better looking. All right, we got a 488, a regular Aventador. I've seen this thing a lot, actually. I think that it was at Armature Works. Rolls-Royce Wraith Black Badge. This has not aged today, this design. It is absolutely beautiful. Crazy to think that this came out 12 years ago. I just bumped into the golf cart. Better to bump into the golf cart than the Aventador, right? Um, CT4V? Uh, looks like a Hellcat. Could be a red eye. I don't know. <laughs> um, we have a 750S, the new McLaren 750S. These things are pretty cool. And then we got an SF90 with the carbon wheel option. The, that really does transform how the car looks. Got a 991.2 GT3 Cali T. All right, I'm just gonna head out of here because the music is not really good for the video. But the one car that I do really think is kind of cool is this Ram because it is an SRT10. So Dodge decided to put the 8.3 liter V10 from the Dodge Viper in a pickup truck. And if you got the shorter one, it had a manual gearbox, a V10 pickup truck, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, Huracan uh, Evo, another SF90 with the, probably the ugliest wrap I've ever seen in my entire life. But well, uh, we'll move on from that. A very green G63 with the monoblock wheels. I've seen a lot of these now. So we got an Audi R8, the new Rolls Royce Spectre, Rolls Royce Cullinan. The Spectre is gigantic. It really is a big car. Look at the, look at the, the uh, I guess the charging cap. It's really big. Look at this thing. This is gorgeous. I really like this a lot. We have a Bentley Bentayga. This is the facelift. 
That sounds like a V10. Could be the Ram. And then we got a DBX. This looks like it's a DB11 or could be the DB12. Another 750S. A 600 LT. Very MSO'd out with the Senna seats in it. Uh, the new Artura. Then we have a 600 LT with a roof scoop. Automatically, the cool points go up if a, if a McLaren has the roof scoop MSO option on it. It just transforms how the car sounds and looks. It looks sick. But look at this 720, oh no, sorry, 765 LT. It's brown with brown carbon fiber and a Tiffany blue interior. This is just absolutely insane. Really, really cool spec on that. We got another 765. That's not real roof scoop, by the way. I could be wrong. 12C. I haven't seen one in this color in a while. Still looks pretty good. An Artura. Um, I'm going to head over here now. Now, I don't really know much about like very old Rolls Royces and Bentleys, but these look pretty cool. And... Um... Bentley Continental. I wonder if the other cars are still here. Let me check over there. So moving on from the Lucid, we got an i8 Model S, Mustang 5.0, M M8 Comp, convertible. Oh my God, this is just a little overwhelming with how many cars there. There's another STI I didn't even know was over there. California GT3 RS, uh, a 997 GT3 RS. You don't see these very often. I really like the, the color on it. So what's really cool about this 997 GT3 S, also <laughs> 992 GT3 S, insane looking car. But the 997 GT3 S, this looks just like the one that Richard Hammond drove when Top Gear went to the Stelvio Pass to find the best driving road in the world with Jeremy Clarkson in a first gen Gallardo Superleggera and then James was in some racing Aston Martin Vantage and he was very uncomfortable and it was really, really funny <laughs> seeing that. Um, but this is really cool. I don't usually like this type of green, but on this it just really works and it's so nostalgic, especially from watching Top Gear with it. And then over here we have a shark blue 911 GTS, a very, very pink S-Class. Um, a bunch of Mustangs here, drag cars, this one looks like it's very stanced out. Um, going back over here and then I'm going to go back over there again because there's more stuff back there. Chevy, oh, like it looks like a Holden, but this is basically a Chevy SS underneath. Such an underrated car because you, it looks like a Malibu, but under the hood, it's got a V8. And then we got a beautiful Alpina. I really have a thing for Alpinas. I really, I really have a thing for Alpinas. I really like them a lot. Um, and then we got an STO. This kind of reminds me of spec on the one I drove when I was in Italy, which was the most amazing experience of my life. But this is an amazing car. A 335D, those things are pretty tunable. I know about the, obviously the N54 and the 335i, but the 335D I don't know much about because the last thing I'd want to buy in a normal car especially in the US as a diesel. Actually, now having said that, my dad had a 330D or 328D, the F30 generation. And it actually was a pretty good car. It was one of the first cars I got to drive uh, when I was learning how to drive. And uh, it had a decent amount of torque. It pulled decently for a base diesel. I could see why they're pretty popular in Europe. Okay, so we are back at the Spike and the Kutosh. We have this really nice boat. Don't know much about the boat, but I like the color combo on it. Um, okay, let's go over here. We have a Cullinan, the very, very interesting body kit on four Giatas, and we got a new Phantom, which is, I love this thing. This looks like it's an extended wheelbase. It is. These are very rare, an extended wheelbase. Oh man, look at that interior. This is like the ultimate. The Phantom. Doesn't really get more luxurious than the Phantom from Rolls Royce. CTSV, um, bunch of bellies over here. Mulsanne. I really like the Mulsanne a lot. 
Uh, I think it's an Azure Continental GT Flying Spur. That's pretty cool. We got a bunch of Cadillacs here. CTSVs, STSV, CTSV Coupe. I remember I actually had to run the back one of these things. Very, very interesting design. Um, but without question, my favorite is the CTSV wagons because having a natural aspirated V8 station wagon, I could be, I don't know if it's supercharged actually, now I'm thinking about it, it might be. I guess my uh, knowledge is not good today, I guess. I'm not quite at Shmi level yet. But a CTSV wagon is just such a cool car. Um, these, are auto, uh, these are autos, but you can get in a manual and that just makes the experience that much better. Um, then we got a newer CTSV, 650 horsepower V8 from the Corvette Z06. Um, I'm gonna go over here now. I'll go back there in a second. But we have an OG Dodge Viper, a la the latest generation Dodge Viper that it's not being made anymore. F80 M3. Ooh, those wheels look amazing on that car. I think those are the M2CS wheels. A um, bunch of really beautiful Alfa Romeos, including a 4C. I have a massive soft spot for the 4C. Really good value for money. Carbon tub. Oh, I thought I dropped something. <laughs> Alfa Romeo, Julia. Oh my God, I've seen this car. So what this is, is a V10 3 Series from an M M5 V10. Absolutely insane. Super, I didn't even notice that. Okay, this is probably one of the coolest cars here. A V10 3 Series engine swap. I'm not a big Genesis Coupe guy, but I really like this a lot, actually. I love the color combination. Love the seats. Oh, nice carbon inside, too. It looks good. We got this gorgeous Alpina 5 Series Touring. Um, let's move over here. I have no idea what that is. Spider-Man motorcycle. Oh, this is probably some Honda that Doug DeMiro knows about that I don't. It's tiny. Oh, nice R8 as well. I have no idea what it is. There's no badge on it. It's right-hand drive. It's probably important, I'm guessing. Nice R8. This is a cool engine bay with all the accents in there. Another R8. Another R8, this time a convertible. Very uh, interesting wrap on this Q60. Very, very subtle. <laughs> Not. Um, Honda S2000. I have a massive soft spot for the S2000. It's an incredible car. And it sounds amazing, especially when the VTEC kit kicks in. We got a 86. I could be a special edition with the green gold combo. This is actually pretty clean. I like the wing on this too. Just married. Oh, well, congratulations to the owner. Um, I honestly have no idea what this is, but I like the orange. Well, yeah, look at those seats. Brickland. A GT63. I'll be honest with you. Paying close to two hundred thousand dollars or over two hundred thousand dollars for a car, I feel like this is a little tacky. Like this is just like a piece of plastic. Yeah, you get the V8 nitro. The rent tech is like a baggage that has been added, at like from the owner. But like, I don't know. It's just I feel like this panel here looks so cheap on an otherwise like obviously very expensive car. Um, I'm actually not crazy about how it looks. Sorry, that was very loud. It was the American in me, I guess. But uh, I'm not really crazy about the looks. I feel like it's a little bit too high. I don't know. There's just something off. It's a great car. I do like it. But I don't know. I, I prefer the CLS, actually, to be honest with you. Um, or the M8 Grand Coupe. But still, I mean, this thing's probably an animal, and it's probably brilliant to drive. Um, then we have a 991, 911. Uh, some smart cars that are raised. WRX. I have no idea what this is. I'll probably get to that in a second. We got a DBS Super Legera. The later cars actually got rid of the Super Legera name because this thing is anything but lightweight. And look at the white on this thing. This is, oh my God, this is gorgeous. Look at this interior. 
Wow, this is beautiful. And then we got a Huracan Evo. I don't know if this is a rear wheel drive. Verde Mantis. This is the same color that Vehicle Virgins had on his Huracan. This is a 580 2 Oh, actually, no, it's not a 580 2 because the Evo is just called the Evo rear wheel drive if it's a rear wheel drive model. Then we got a GTR over here and a McLaren 12C Spider. And then we have two Tesla Roadsters over there. Looks like a GTI. I have no idea what this Japanese car is, but I'm gonna take a look. And see. Sega. No idea, oh, it's a Nissan, okay. Alrighty. All right, I'm, I'm absolutely exhausted. I've been here for like four hours filming and everything, but it was overall a great event. It would be really interesting to see next year up in town. Uh, so that is it for this video. I wanna thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.